Hey, uh, this is Invictus doing another commentary with my friend Nihilis. Yo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so, <laughs> who have we got here today? All right, we got my boy Lions Dark Phoenix. Whoa. I, I, not too bad, not too bad. Yeah, uh, it's actually me just <laughs> putting on the newest <laughs> tag I possibly could because uh, Varus was. Uh, trying to troll me, so I decided to come on on a different account and change my name, <laughs> and then just uh, own him. Well, I thought Lions was a good clan. Oh yeah. No, they must be so peace. Monster clan. Yeah. Uh, so I got a kind of cool kinky infantry force. All like right. I got it in this weird formation. You want to go over the build? Sure. Uh, for Varus, we got a lot of silver silver cataphracts, which I'm not. I don't think this is a good idea. Cause. When it comes down to it, these guys are not going to be able to do as much damage against the Pikes as Gold Gold Cataphracts. Mm -hmm. Right. And then he's got, I think, uh, looks like uh, five Pikes and two Horse Archers and six Archers. And I've got, I got six six Pikes, Silver Silver. And you want to do the rest? Oh uh, sure, I got you. So six pikes, silver, silver. Then it looks like we got six archers, probably. Yeah. And they are gold, silver, gold, 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 gold. 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 Yeah. Then we got three militia cav. I think it's four. Four is the one out yeah. on the flank, somewhere. No, yeah. it's 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 in the midst of the pikes. Oh, is it? Oh yeah, yeah right yeah. there. We got four. We got four militia cav, and they look to be gold, silver. Yeah, I think probably silver, gold. Silver, gold, something. Like and that. then I've got uh, four unoperated chariots. Of course. So That's yeah, Varus was being a major prick. So. And he is at the end of this game. He's actually going to do something very special. <laughs> and uh, when I say special, I, I mean that with uh, an SH. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so just, you know, a little bit of skirmishing here. These pikes are arranged in, a, in an interesting formation. Why did you choose this formation? Um, I was thinking about the way cataphracts engage pikes. And I noticed that you don't actually need it to get wider as you as you make a defensive formation like this. It's mm. actually good to go narrower as you as you go back because when a cataphract charges the flank of a pike, it's not going to do th that much damage just by hitting you know like the three or four men that are on the periphery. Right, right, that makes sense. So I'm going to actually get my pike down, and uh, he's going to charge anyway. Ooh, and that's... he's just going to get. Impaled. Yeah. So yeah, really, really, really brilliant move. Yeah, absolutely. Varus. You can see all the dead cataphracts. A, a, a just cause for them to die there, though. It's and it's really like I lost no pikes, almost. Yeah. Barely anything. Yeah, that no. one's literally full. It's my general. He charged six cataphracts into it. This he guy's kill full. Any. This one's full. And these two, one, one, two cataphracts. The, the the ones that didn't engage lost <laughs> that. <laughs> um. So I got my jab cap. Flanking out. Flanking. Over here, nothing much. Those chariots will be pretty decisive, though. But, I mean, with a weakened cataphract already, that's already a, a huge disadvantage. I'm moving up my pikes, and he's going to do the same thing he did a second ago. Well, Actually, kind of funny. I think he needs to do it three times, because the third time's the charm. Yeah, so. right. <laughs> but uh, he's, he's going he's gonna to hold off for a minute there, but... Good moving the jab cap here. are going to get some force archers. It's actually not. Watch. Oh, they're going to get surrounded. Yeah, yeah. But it's okay. Yeah. I'm I'm feeling pretty confident that uh, I can beat this guy. Yep, and so far so good. I think, except for the one the one screw there. I mean, everything else has been pretty good. I honestly don't have anything against Forrest, but uh, if he he's insisting to be a prick, so. <laughs> so yeah, you got the Mush cavalry in the rear here, and that'll be annoying. Oh, and, and here it what? is. Another charge. Oh, brilliant! Oh yeah. my god. Ooh, this is a yeah. yeah. That's a little bit of a better charge there than the last one, but well, I mean, it's not worth it's it. It's just all. not cost effective, and I'm actually gonna get a chariot in there. He's not gonna pull out. That's the stupidest thing. In oh the world. my god. He's just gonna stick in there, especially with side chariots on the field. You gotta retreat immediately. Yeah, and I'm gonna use that one chariot to launch an attack on his archers, and with like a combined arms with my my javelins. Yeah, and this is gonna be a great use of the side chariots. This is what they want to do. Already bogged down. Uh, cataphracts are just gonna start wrecking here. It is pretty good, but he honestly, the thing is, is that the chariots are getting bogged down by the fact that 
the cataphracts are bogged down. Yeah, but this is probably worth it at this point. He's written throughout yeah. for most of his... There's only his generals left here. And, and I one think cataphract. this is a time when he starts to... Uh, I think he's going to do something very special. Oh, this is going to be awesome. In the game. Yeah, you've been, yeah, definitely this is GG. Yeah. Oh. Oh, what? No, replay finished. Huh. I wonder what that means. Uh, it must have been a crash. From the yeah, definitely first. a crash. Um, but I think, I think the game was still up in the air at this point. Anyone yeah, could have won. Anyone could have won. But, um, I yeah, guess we should so say uh, good game, Good maybe? game. Looking, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to see something like that. Alright, well, I'll see you next time. Yeah.